Hello and welcome to Thought for September the 27th. Our readings are 1 Chronicles chapter 10, Ezekiel chapter 23, and Luke chapter 20. And our thought is, so all Israel was recorded in genealogies. One of the most boring parts of the Bible to read are the list of names in genealogies. We completed reading yesterday the first nine chapters of 1 Chronicles, which are full of such lists, tracing lines of descent. And chapter 9 starts with the words, So all Israel was recorded in genealogies. Why were all these records kept? The significance of keeping them became evident when the Jews returned from captivity, for some could not prove their line of descent whether they belonged to Israel, as Ezra 2 verse 59 says. Being an Israelite brought special privileges, and today, belonging to a nation is important. After World War II, when so many millions died, in fact it is said to be 20 million, there were many stateless people, especially parentless youngsters when people are stateless. It is a real problem. We see the desire of some today to be accepted as members of another nation. Australia is very much favoured and it is currently an issue as to whether or not you are a naturalised citizen if you want to take part in, in, in politics. Now, our key question is, is the value of knowing your genealogy when you are in Christ, is it of any value? The answer is clearly no. When we are baptised into Jesus Christ, then his father becomes our father, and that is the only genealogy that counts. And how much does it count? Nothing in our lives can equal this citizenship. We note, however, that the early church had those who still saw importance in knowing lines of descent. Paul mentioned this in writing to Timothy, saying, to teach that they should not devote themselves to myths and endless genealogies. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 3 and 4. He wrote the same to Titus, saying he should teach believers to avoid controversies, genealogies, they are unprofitable and worthless. Chapter 3, verse 9. Today it has become something of a fad in some countries to know your line of descent, and we are, to some extent, are bombarded by organisations offering to find this out, at a price, of course. Let us concentrate on our relationship of being in Christ, for after all, that matters above all else. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.